tonight. Over the weekend, we lost one of the most important figures in the history of WHS television. But Harmsmeyer died after a fight with kidney cancer at the age of 86. From Daily Street reporter to then the director of the WHS Crusade for Children, we are remembering him tonight. Here's one of his first stories. One chairman, Worth Bingham, made public for the first time part of the Spindletop Research Report that is being prepared for the Louisville Jefferson County Economic Progress Commission. Now, this is February of 1964. Bud was on the job about a year reporting from the Brown Hotel. He's a Louisville native, went to Shawnee High School, graduated from U of L and the University of Oklahoma, where he studied combat photography. He joined WHS TV as an Army veteran covering the crime and police beat. In 1981, he switched to lead the WHS Crusade for Children, but said he went from covering the worst of people to the very best. I'm Bud Harbsmeyer, was director of the Crusade for Children from 1982 to uh, 2000. Okay, what did you do before that at HAS? I was for 20 years a reporter. This is the Bud Harbsmeyer who began his career at WHAS, a fresh-faced newsman covering life's gritty side, a witness to crime and tragedy. I was seeing a lot of what cops go through, you know. All you saw was the rotten side of, of society in a lot of cases, and it was affecting my attitude. The total of these wills is $56,982. In 1981, Phyllis Knight was retiring as the director of the WHAS Crusade for Children. Then General Manager Bob Morris saw an opportunity for Bud. He didn't think the job was really right for him or that he was right for the job and it took about two months to get him to finally take it. It would be Bud's wife Barbara who told him 20 years of chasing bandits was enough. I said you know it's affecting you you know you're not the nice sweet guy I married and I think you ought to take the crusade job. Well I thought about it and she was right. Isn't it incredible? Let's see if you can read the total one more time. In 1982, it was a Lone Ranger operation. And I had Phyllis with me maybe two weeks trying to tell me what was involved. I mean, and it was just incredible, everything that was involved. It is the greatest city in the world. In 1982, Bud threw himself into his work as crusade director with the same drive and determination that made him a successful journalist. Here it is, the grand total as we go off the air. From there, Bud launched a new 19-year career at WHAS. During his tenure, the crusade raised $66 million. $18,000. This community, which it really wasn't growing that much population-wise, but yet the same people in the same area continued to give more and more money every year. And it was just an amazing thing to me. I had a real feeling of, of that I'd accomplished something better than I ever felt as a reporter. You know, I'd, I'd, I could break some good stories during being a reporter, but I never got the sense that I got after the crusade was over. You know, each crusade, God, we made this much money, we're going to be able to fund 200 agencies, 190 agencies, uh, and they're all going to from all over the, the state of Kentucky and a, a good part of southern Indiana. And it's going to save a lot of lives. And that, it's, that's going to make a big, big difference. And I was a part of that. And I feel good about that. And yeah, we're all going to miss him here. And joining me now is Don Lee, the current president and CEO of the WHAS Crusade for Children, talking with me tonight about Bud's life and success at the Crusade and the Buddy Award. Uh, what is the Buddy Award? Explain to people. Well, the Crusade family is large, and it has to be that way because it takes so many people to make the weekend happen. And so when Bud retired in 2000, his successor, Dan Miller, thought it would be a great way to capture Bud's commitment and dedication by then giving an award in his name to someone who had the same characteristics that Bud showed for the Crusade. And, and there are names on the other side. Their names it. are on the other side, absolutely. And it shows you uh, all the different types of people that it takes to make the Crusade happen and the ones that were especially recognized. Milton Metz on there. Your, your, your thoughts about Bud Harbsmeyer's legacy, Dawn? Oh my gosh, it's just truly remarkable to see the legacy that someone like Bud leaves. Um, one of the first people I met with when I got the job and he was so uh, generous and kind to me and um, 
Then when he retired, it's very unusual. He stayed involved with the crusade. He's been involved for 20 years um, with Highview Fire and comes to crusade every single year. And you just don't, that's a gift for, for someone in my position to be able to have that, that continuity. And of course, he asks everybody to give to the crusade his final wishes. Absolutely, and we could not be more grateful. Our hearts go out to his family and he is definitely gonna be missed by his crusade family.